Greetings, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues, looking at a very kind of thick Tohono Nation. What are you guys doing over there? But anyways, last time we had quite a massive war between us, the Power Armored Soldiers of the Western Brotherhood of Steel, versus the Super Mutant Trolls and evil creatures of New Mariposa, which originally was the Troll Warren. Right now, we have our justification to go to war with... The Confederacy of the Dayglow to expand the army of, or expand the land of Megapolis 1 because they helped us out quite a bit in the last war. We've got a couple comments to get through. First of all, I also want to recommend I stop making so many ships for now just because we have a lot and a lot of them are not very good, which is actually a very, very smart idea. So let's go ahead and stop making these then. Um, yeah, we might as well not make garbage. We have a good enough navy for now. Uh, stop making those. We have plenty of things that we could use convoys for. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I do recommend your comments or recommend or value your input. Words are hard when I'm recording this. Anyways, uh, let's see. I asked you guys yesterday what we should call our intelligence agency. And uh, obviously, Office of Strategic Services is not a very good title. That being said, you guys came up with some good names such as Ad Victorium, which was on the thumbnail of the series, the Steel Overseers, the Knighthood of Intelligence, the Stainless Steel Intelligence, but the one I liked the most was the Circle of Steel. I like that. It's plain, it's simple, it's cos, it's nice. I like that. The Circle of Steel, that makes perfect sense if you know what I mean. Cool. And so to save some manpower, we did that with our ships. We're only going to produce the best ships from here on out because there's no point in wasting our time with or wasting our manpower with other stuff. Let's get some automated harvesting. And we need to go to war by November 8th. I keep, gotta keep remembering that. Government staff for schools are a cool, cool thing. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Maybe we we'll go to war now. Uh, watch out for spies because we do have some uh, things going on down there. Let's continue improving our army. And get some advanced recycling too. And we are going to spend quite a bit of time coring stuff as well. So someone asked yesterday that he downloaded Old World Blues. He was watching my videos and was like, you know, after the first few focuses, things get a little less interesting. How do you, how do I, and maybe some other people, uh, stay interested in Old World Blues? Well, you, what I do is I ask you guys how far we should take our you know, campaign. That's why I always, I usually ask. Ooh, look at that. I ask, like, how far should we go? Because I have a good conception of how far we should go, like, take all, and you guys recommended, take all the Pacific states. That's really, the main way I stay somewhat stay motivated into playing Old World Blues. Um, sometimes I just create my own lore in my own head. Sometimes that's just the best thing to do. Uh, why is this not available? Can I have this and fighter specialization? Ooh, what the heck? Um, hmm. Uh, but so, anyways, regarding uh, bomber efforts, we'll read this first. So, bombers will be at. Uh, Provide a devastating advantage in the Air Force, being able to bomb industry and defenses, weakening the enemy for our ground forces to meet in combat. Just like any other mod, like Kaiserreich or Führerreich, but maybe not so much TNO, the new, the last days of Europe. Uh, what you might recommend is that you create your own lore. Create an al alternate lore when you're playing these mods, just to, you know, engage yourself into a what if scenario. What if the Western Brotherhood of Steel decided to someday go crazy? and declare war on everyone and basically f subjugate them under your rule. What if you wanted to play as Kaiser's Legion or Blackfoot and say, you know what, I want to conquer all of Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona. It's up to you. It's really up to you. That's why I wouldn't say Hoi 4 is a sandbox game, but it's it's open to interpretation on depending on what you want to achieve out of it. That's why, I, that, to be honest, that's why I have this channel. Like, honestly, it's I might not play Hoi 4 a lot, at all. Well, I would play it some, but if I didn't have you guys, I probably wouldn't play it as much because I like your input. I really do. Oh, crap. 80s man territory sub. Come up with ways to create your own story. That's what I like to do. I always like creating my own story about what could come and happen. Why did I go to war when... Wait, hold on. Ho hold on. They already demanded territory from us. What? Sierra? No, we can't do that. No, they want the Sierra Armor Depot. No, 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 no. Hmm. We just went to war. Two. Uh, they're attacking. You know what? Uh, mm, why, why, why? Oh my goodness. Of all things to happen right now. Right now. They had just had to go to war with us. Seriously. 80s. We already gave you territory last time. You know what? I'm going to help these guys out. And I can't help them out with army units. So we'll try to help them out with the air. 
Oh, that is not looking good right there. Anything else? Yes, we got plenty of planes in. Monoplane fighters, yes, please. Cool. I will send you guys down here if you have... Please tell me if... Oh, boy. Look at that. Oh, no. Well, it looks like they death stacked. Oh, and there goes our fleet. It looks like they death stacked all of their ships into a singular fleet. Which really, really sucks. So we're going to do the exact same thing. So be it. Oh, why? Do you have any air bases down here? Oh, goodness gracious. Well, I am seeing a mistake right now that they are committing. That is uh, not ideal. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, you better get that uh, diddle of screwball out of there. Oh, goodness gracious. Get out of there, and unfortunately, I will be right back. All right, my apologies about that. I had to attend to something else really quickly, but here we are. We're going to be suffering um, some consequences. Uh, 80s, you are about to get or enter a world of hurt because I hope that you don't have a lot of this cord, and it looks like they do. Um, yeah, you're going to suffer a, an extreme amount of manpower loss because of the resistance that you are about to face. Oh, my goodness. And the further they spread out their divisions... Oh, may, actually, maybe we actually get up here quick enough. Uh, throw in these guys. I'm not going to call them Megapolis 1 because they're just too busy right now. Please, for the love of God, Megapolis 1, please stop attacking. For the love of God, please stop attacking. Regardless, hope you're having a good day. I really do. Hope you're having an okay day. You know, as long as it... You know, hope it goes well for you. If not, you know, things happen. Uh, let's see. You guys move over there. Get back. Retreat. Don't get overran. Please do not get overran. Middle bows. Very good. Or bows. Bodges. Do some combat bodges because we can. Oh, uh, why did you call them? They're, they're busy right now. They can't afford that, to do that. All right. You know what? These pieces of garbage are well, garbage. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a big old encirclement because we don't have time to mess around. Megapolis one. Uh. Probably will not do very well by themselves, so yeah. Well, they're still defending, which is pretty nice. Actually, how much manpower do they have? I don't really trust them at all, because they've only 3,000 manpower, 68 divisions. Let's go and course something else. In California, probably the Santa Rosa. 23,000, that's not bad. 17, 23,000 is what we cored last time. 3,000, 17,000, that's not bad. That could get us a good sack city pretty quickly. Let's go and do this one. Just got a little bit more manpower, which is nice. And slaves, as slaves escape from Shady Sands military state. Uh, the SSMS tyranny is known across the wasteland, although they might justify slavery as a favorite of primitives. We know that the freedom is the right of every wastelander and have always looked on with dismay. Earlier this morning, slaves crossed the border with the SSR Jun Junta forces in hot pursuit. Our troops met them at the border, and Shady Sands are now demanding that we turn over to slaves. What should we do? Freedom is the right of every wastelander, because I don't really care. Cool. Get the power armor up there, and we're going to go smash the living crap out of them, because we don't have... We just don't have time to mess around. I'm gonna have you guys go like right there. There you go. Go ahead, move in. See what you can do. Teach these pieces of garbage a lesson. Bomber effort. Cool. So here we saw this earlier, and I couldn't really address it. So this says requires one of the following, but cannot have this and fighter specialization, which I think is just stupid. So I'm gonna do this off screen and just use console commands to get this done and over with, so we can continue going on because it, that makes no sense. Why we can't do military flight academy? So. I mean, it's not like we're losing much right now, but we'll get down there eventually in the next episode, so not too bad. Uh, let's see. Pacific waters? Why not? The waters of the Pacific pose a prolific opportunity or opportunity to exert the Brotherhood's influence and power much further than it could ever achieve on land. Very good. Just please, please, do not get encircled. Nice. Oh, uh, what, what the heck did I just say? Nice. So now you guys, you're going to help crush these guys as quickly as possible. You're going to go right there, and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, eh, we we'll also do replicators, why not? Replicators are pretty useful, I'd say. Infantry armor is not looking great, but not looking terrible. Digital decryption, very awesome. Let's grab some more uh, centrometric radar. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gain in XL, and we will attack with an ungodly merciful strike in right now. Just go ahead. Crush them. You know what? Force the attack. I want to see bodies flying in the air. Crush every single one of them if you can. Oh boy, they're getting attacked. That's eight. They declared one of the Yakuza tribe too. Holy crud, Arenos, man. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, yeah. Watch out for spies. Very cool. Let's get some watch out for spies again, because why not? 
Cool. Kill the moth if you can. That'd be great. Just get right there. There you go. And they're gone. Easy peasy. All right. Let's reform the front line again. We could... Uh, it's probably best we do attack right now, just so that we still get some territory. I'll give the Yakuza a good amount of territory, too, because they are in the war. It, it just wouldn't be fair if we didn't, but... Let's go and help out our allies. We've already killed off... 6,000? Uh, I guess technically 5,000. The Yakuza are doing pretty well. They've killed off 1,400 themselves. We, though, have lost 116, so this actually could have been a lot worse than what has happened. Like, what are they up to? Sac City Blues? They must have just finished... Wow, we can see everything here. Sack New Reno claims on and looks territory to dispute for New Reno's former core territories as well as the Yakuza territory. So that was that's really lucky. We got lucky and unlucky. Like, we got lucky in which you know what, we must just kill them off too. But uh, we got lucky or unlucky that the Yakuza or the 80s declared war on us, but then the Yakuza declared war on them. Uh, that's the case. I really want to send you down here. So I'm only going to send one of you guys down here just to help defend for now. And then I'm going to send the other one to help just, you know, do normal duties right here. Don't worry about the Yakuza. We'll take him out eventually. Probably. But, <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Woof. Look at that. I mean, against power armor, they can't do squat. Oh, defenses are online. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. Oh, let's grab some more, or some more caps. That'd be very good. And consumer prime trust of energy, more stability. I like stability. I really, really do. Uh, and restore the Sat Salt NPP. Very nice. Jet engines, why not? Jet fighters, yeah, we gotta go with jet fighters. Watch out for spies. Let's get some merchant spies next, and with some Pacific waters, you say. Very good. And how about some actual ships? Many nations and communities have salvaged rigs and otherwise incompetent ships at their disposal. We, on the other hand, have large databases stocked of naval information and maritime schematics, which should put these in good use to ensure our superiority is unchallenged in the waters. Excuse me. But yes, we should. Alright, so our infantry might be stretched out just a wee bit here. So what we're going to do is put you over here and combine both armies, well, under one field marshal, of course, and just kind of smash the heck out of them. There you go. Sac City Blues, they have 32 divisions, they have... This is one of the rare times where you will see on my channel that we actually do very, very well against the 80s. I'm not sure why. They must... I mean, I guess technically we already killed off 14,000 manpower, 10,000 from, our, from ourselves. Which is really nice, but still. Composites, very nice. Uh, I mean, you could like a look at their stockpiles. I mean, look at this. Zero. 31 division stockpiles. Plenty of dynamite. Uh, make saws. Melee weapon we... Uh, weapon we? Weaponry. Uh... 3,000 plus pipe guns. They got tons of, you know, melee equipment. 80s operative captured. Uh, so, scrap motorcycles, 1,000. I mean, this is not bad. Let's do that too. That'd be good. Actually, did you get any upgrades from that? From losing that? No, that sucks. And if they don't have no more manpower... Mm -hmm. We hope they can't really make sure their soldiers are nice and fit. Uh, actually, this is why I kept you guys like this. You guys come down here and do that. That'd be good. And then you guys come over here and do that. I'm glad I did not combine you into one big old army. Because that would have been very, very bad. Power armor, you gotta go. Go, 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 go. We might just take out the Desert Rangers too. They're looking a little weak for the APCs, which is fine with me, but still. Infantry armor's looking pretty darn nice. We want to get some airships maybe as well. We got plenty of fighters. Merchant ships, very nice. Army departments. Uh, and they are slowly coming up here. Uh, I might recommend you guys get in there to help out for now. We don't want to lose that st that tile, probably. Thank you very much. Four more divisions. Beautiful. Go ahead and help out down there. Cypher is done. Oh, is a cypher for the 80s? Do we have a cypher for the 80s? Yeah, we do. We've had it this entire time and have not used it. What a shame. What a shame. Come on, power armor. Keep going, keep going. I mean, it's just so good. They take 15 for now. So nice. These guys are only 20 combo with too, so. You guys come right here and do that, but I'm going to split up half you guys so that we don't get encircled right there. That'd be good. Somewhat, maybe good. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, don't do that. Yeah, you guys are okay. Infantry is still doing okay. We just ran over some more divisions. They've lost 18,000. Magopolis 1 has done a very good job, so we really want to pay them back. Like, I'm, I'm a little proud of them, you know? I'm a little proud of them. 
Just, just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. Actual ships are nice to have, you know. How about... Up and coming. Well, at first our navy remained or remained only primarily as a coastal guard and otherwise passive efforts. Huge efforts have been supplanted into renovating and reinvigorating our navy to become a large and imposing force. Studying many old naval battles from before the Great War would give us a huge insight into naval warfare. Yes, it would. Quite so. Very good, yeah. This has been ridiculously easy. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, can we... No, we can't. Hmm. All right, then. Well, we get our territory back over here from Vault City. That's kind of nice. I'll give you guys this, this, and that, that, that. There you go. That's probably too much territory they have. They should have. But that's okay. Uh, Mojave chapter, you don't really touch them, so. I just want time to core things. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to core things. Now we have to deal with all this. Oh. Go and deal with this, too. The Jap and, I, and I gave the, them extra territory just because it's going to be much harder for them to, you know, take care of. Jet fighters, yeah. Jet attack planes, we could do that. Let's go ahead and do... Not that stuff. Yeah, basic drills would be good. That'd be very good. Very, very nice. And we've got to go to war with the people in the north soon, too, anyway, so... Alright, you guys. Da, da, da. Split you in half, because one's going to come right here. Uh, there you go. And another one's going to go right there. Good luck. Godspeed. Oh, my goodness. That manpower is looking so sad. Uh, jet fighters, uh, you know, do that because we'll upgrade these guys. We need more military factories. Not bad. Not bad. Looking like some real good attack planes. Just, just destructive. Absolutely destructive. Yeah. Well, Paladin Miller, if you can get more strength, or more experience, I should say, from doing that, good for you. Battle Barge, nah. Let's go down here, overcharge. Eh, yeah, get some overcharged ammo. I like that. Keep learning if you can. We are running out of manpower, which sucks. This is this is a lot more territory than I thought we'd actually take over. Maybe to a degree. It's a lot of territory. Uh, and that's a guess. Let's go ahead and cut down on, by one, maybe. Just, just, just one. Centromedic radar. Uh, get some better ones. Improved centrometric radar. That'd be good as well. How much manpower do they have? 35 divisions, Carson City. Oh, they have like none. They're slowly getting more, though. They're probably doing a good amount of compliance gain. Or it's just standing still. Okay, well, whatever. Any partisan stuff. Cool. Now, the infantry, I don't expect to do that well. But the power armor. I mean, they're just going to come smashing in, which would be awesome. Alright, let's take another hit to, uh, manpower. Oh, man, we got to court more stuff, man. Actually, the infantry is doing very, very well. Holy cow. It does help if you have probably air superiority. Uh, that's the one trick I use in every campaign to try to achieve victory. Air superiority. Okay, okay then. I could, I could liberate people. I could. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. You know what? What happens when you liberate the 80s? I normally don't like liberating people, but we might as well. Let's release the 80s. Let's see how, how strong they are. This is disgusting. What the heck? Wait, so you have that as... You know what? I, I normally don't like doing this. I'm just going to go do this and just cord for them, just so it looks a little better. I'm sorry. It just... I have to do it like this. There you go. You can have that back. Just core that. I don't want to see this garbage. There you go, that's a little better. Um, this is still looking pretty bad. You know what, let's make this a little nicer. Tuscora, you can have that as well. There you go. I'm coring it for them so they don't have to like rise up again. I, you know what, I don't want to, no, I, oh, oh. The 80s don't look great, they don't look bad, they just don't, they just look, oh my goodness, I don't know. I'm not sure what to say about them. Crowd control? I mean, I wanted to see what they become. They're a Protectorate Semper Invicta, which is really what I wanted to see here. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? Sky Reavers? Yeah, I think I think we should own Area 51. Let's be real. We should own Area 51. The Desert Rangers, though, probably looking like they, they're lacking a little bit. You know what? Let's take them over next, just so that we can pop at them as well. Look at that little fighter. Like we said yesterday. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wait. They're... Ah, oh, they're allied. Oh. 
Okay, we still need to take out these guys, so that's an interesting thing right there. Hmm. Cool. Gumbo Diplomacy versus Power Projection. Maxon's Armada versus Pride of Genta. Minus 20% production cost for heavy ships. Or just more output. Uh, I would think I'm... Oh. Gunboat, I like that idea. More range factor, screen attack, defense, that's okay. Let's do power projection. Power projection is what the Brotherhood does best, using our advanced technology and sheer might to shoulder others into doing our bidding. Now with a navy, we can do just that. Very, very nice. Investigate, ooh, we can investigate rumors too. That would be interesting. Clamp down on autonomy, we could do that. I want to save some political powers and core more stuff, that'd be good. And, eh, work camps, because why not? Camps are always nice to go to. Are we missing infantry equipment? No, we're not. Mm, I could, like, release new Mariposa, that'd be kind of cool, but nah, we good. Desert Rangers, nah. New Reno, nah. Pale Folk, nah. They're, not, they're too small in my mind to really want to release them. Sky Reavers, they'll come down. They'll come down eventually. Anyone else? Not really that I would like to release. Land Night Attack, sure, why not. Hmm. Here's the plan, then. We'll attack Shady Sands from here. And here? Oh my goodness, we are already out of things to build. Are you kidding me? There you go. You can build all this stuff up. All of it. Let time go on just a little bit. Just a wee bit. Cool. Uh, and of course, I knew someone would be starting to justify on me. Who is justifying? Who is justifying? And should I care? I probably should care about this, so. Here's just one moment. I would like to do at least as much of this as possible. Just because there's a lot of resources here, and it's good to have good infrastructure so you can move around very quickly around your nation. I wish infrastructure, or building infrastructure, did a little bit more. Because, yeah, transportation is nice and all, but, like, maybe I'm asking for too much, but what about, like, does it help GDP or anything? No? I don't know. I've been playing too much TNO, so I always want more t more GDP. Gross domestic product, please. That'd be very cool. Cool, cool, cool. Jordan Valley. Even up here, we're going to need all this extra supply someday. Just to attack the Northern folks. And we'll double check very, very soon. We're almost done. Uh, who wants to invade us? Why would you invade us at this point? And do that right, right there. Cool. And another agent. Alexander Davis. He's a double agent and a linguist. Wow, oh, from the 80s. Cool. And who's doing what where? Wait, what? Oh, White Legs is... Oh, my goodness. Of course. Of all nations. They wanted to demolish my babies. Well, then. Well, obviously, we can't defend down there that well. We'll probably have to... Oh, white Legs. Well, looks like we won't have a lot of White Legs as a puppet of us. It's fine with me, then. Hmm... Hmm. The Lincoln's down there, though. I don't want to sacrifice these guys, but they might do okay. Let's move you guys up to about there. I'm going to auto-deploy you guys, because I need four more divisions here immediately. How long is that going to take to go to war with us? Okay, we got a few. We got a little bit of time. Just a little bit of time. Go train if you need it. Crop genes, gene crops. Very cool. Uh, Pre-war pre housing. Very, very nice. Very nice. God, I just had to go to war with these guys, didn't I? Oh my goodness. How strong are these guys? 20, oh, that's, that's a lot. Oof. Oh my goodness. We need power armor to, to break through down here, but we gotta go through the white legs first. This episode has been just kind of nuts. I mean, come on, man. Like, seriously? All these different places we gotta kill off first? Uh, provide power armor to scavenger. That'd be kind of nice. Maybe we can find something. Maybe not. Who knows? War propaganda? Yeah, why not? Cult of Lupa? Uh, consumer technology. Are we still getting more weekly war support? I don't think we are, no. Cool, overcharged ammo. Awesome. Reinforce rate? Yes. But at least we're getting more manpower back, which is a very, very, very good thing. And we might be able to raise our conscription level again. Pacific per supremacy. Ensuring our navy is the dominant force in the Pacific is no easy feat. But we must arise to the occasion. A few huge effort will be made into retrofitting older designs with the latest equipment, and even newer designs. Our naval insight is constantly changing, and our navy must reflect this. Wait, so Light Hole gets max range and more armor with the power armor icon? Very cool. 
putting power armor on our divisions or our ships sounds like a very fun time. Very, very fun. And since we're down here, go ahead and help out Area 51 so we can really just storm on in. I should really make my power armor divisions even bigger. So let's go back over here. Oh, we have not. We should. We need to focus more on demo teams. Just to see what happens. Super mutant platoons. Ooh, radioactive material leaked. Very cool. Cool. Uh, let's see. Now you get 16 soft attack. Well, these guys will get 17. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's store Fairfield Air Force Base. Nice. Let's keep doing this if we can. Antipatas and stuff. Sack for the Desert Rangers is done. No longer get industrial support. So be it, so be it, so be it. And it looks like we could probably use the 80s next. Or, not the 80s. We already use the 80s. But, the white legs. Work time administration. Um, mm, you can do that, that's fine for now, since we are going to be, very soon, lowering the autonomy of the 80s anyways. And actually, we're done with our land doctrine, but what we're going to do is we're going to do specialized uh, doctrines for naval warfare for now, because that one battle we had really resulted in us not doing well. And we don't want to repeat that. Let's go and repair them. Because if we can do a very good job with our naval doctrine. Oh. Oh, they already can go to war. That's not ideal. Then, uh, we can do much better. Let's see. I wanted to go to war the Yakuza folk. New laws? So be it. Do that then. Oh, wait. We already took up the Yakuza. What am I justifying on then? Oh, just the white legs. Alright, well, we we have been caught in a very awkward situation. And we don't own that. God dang it. Air Force Department, that'd be good. That division devices, that's, that'd be good. We can get better than that. Let's grab some of this. Because we can. Why not? Come on, guys, attack me. Pacific Supremacy is very good. Maxon's Armada. To honor the late Maxon, we will establish a huge navy that's a rival of any major power in the Pacific. Way more output. Wowzers, that's a lot of convoys. Let's grab some Zax technology. We might as well now. 0.32 years ahead of time. Not bad. Yeager Drusel, not bad. White Let's Clear War on the Anointed. Okay. We could investigate rumors, but we're going to wait until we have all of our army together. We got some work camps. Let's get some brick housing. That'd be cool. Very, very nice. We can only get 1.28. Yeah, that's not enough. I don't want to spend any more political power, but it looks like we're going to have to. Oof. Oof. Look at all this. All the roads that we're building. So nice. Come on. I just want to kill them off, please. Please. Learn the tongue of outsiders. 4,000 manpower is not bad for the mechanized training. Nice. Even more reinforced, right? Cool. 0.27. Nice. Hey, might as well get advanced energy weapons. We might as well. We are advanced after all, aren't we? And in the meantime, we get to the Air Force Department. We shall grab and distribute pit boys and our scavenger return triumph. And finally, we get infantry technology bonus. Ooh. Looks like we can build some more air bases, though. Let's go through another 100 biplanes over here for now. You guys want two, three, four, five. Very cool. Come over here, save munition storage, and grab some river fleet for more screen organization, which is not very much, but that's okay. Go right there. Go right there. And then go right there. And then I wish I could build down there for them. And go right there. Okay, go right there. Nice. Come on, guys, attack me. See if you can break my power armor. Which, at this point, they probably can't, but they might be able to. They might be able to. But can they break our planes? That is the real question. Can they break our attack planes? Ooh, look at those. The Xeon fighters. Ah, some of my favorite. And airships. What are we, what are we doing? Okay. Oh, Maxion's Armada is cool. Maxion's Bastion. Our Navy may not always protect our coastline or... or or our vital bases located on the shores. As a result, preparatory and efficient coastal defenses should be fabricated in order to defend these places in case of coastal raids or naval invasions. Yes. Very much so. Very, 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 very much. In the meantime... Oh, look at that manpower. It's looking so good. We're building up air bases, which is nice. There goes the, the anointed, which is, you know, whatever. Let's go ahead and build this up just a little bit more. I could use a few more military factories as well. Come over here. Maybe do some more operational stuff. Government staff for schools. Very nice. I wish the war over here wasn't just so stagnant anymore. Brick housing. Let's grab some home of the futures. If I leave, does that mean that they do nothing? Will they continue attacking? I think it's something I'm going to risk. No, they're not continue attacking. Good, good, good. If this is a case, yeah, we got to just cover the line. That's all we have to do. Just cover the line. 
And they'll move with the power armor. Maybe. Maybe. Provide power armor. Anything else? Not really. See how some outdated equipment, because I'm sure we're making more than enough right now. Uh, look at all this. It's so nice. Even Spec Ops equipment? What a bunch of wasteful stuff. Max and Bastion. Max and Bastion number two. Our Navy may not always protect our coastline or vital bases located on the shores. We already read this. As a result, preparatory and efficient coastal defenses should be fabricated in order to defend these places in case of coastal raids or naval invasions. Sure. Why not? Even more fighters? Nice. Only two more ballistic fibers. Let's go ahead and grab. Boom, boom. That's a little bit too ahead of time for me. That's still all a little bit too ahead of time for me. Personally, incinerator time. Let's get hot. Mmm, yum, yum. Time to grill. Cool. More divisions. Throw you right here. We need it. we need you on the line immediately. Government staff for schools. River fleets. Suicide pills. Yum, yum, yum. Tasty. And we'll grab some coastal patrols for even more ship benefits. So you are three out of there. You are becoming a fleet protector and superior tactician, but we'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. Actually, do we have enough radar down here? Level five right there. That's not bad. We can expand it a little bit more as well. That'll be fine. All right, White Legs, you wanted to go to war with me. You tested us. And if you attack me, well, you got a massive army. But they can't break the power armor. There's no way they can do that, especially with our planes. They got a lot of divisions, though. That's not ideal. Uh, Paladin Houston, I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready to, to God what, what, we, what we have to do here. Uh, we could do Descendants of the Wanderer. Let's do some uh, pro secure, procuring our survival. One of the biggest challenges the Brotherhood faces is long-term preservation. Basic and vital necessities like water and metals becoming increasingly harder to maintain. I'd probably say obtain, but you know maybe maintain as well. So we got 17,000, 12,000. That's not bad. 3,500. Navarro is pretty small, less than a thousand. I want to get to Sac City because that'd be really good core. So we'll do that one. Miraville's Ranch. About 2,000 more manpower. Old Chico wouldn't be bad. That's not bad. California has not a bad amount of population. There's a lot of people that live in California but never knew that. But I'm pretty sure you probably already knew that. Max 15. We're even doing this a little better. Come up here first. And then advanced energy weapons. Nice. Nice. Come over here. And let's do capital ship doctrine so we can just smash the living hell out of our enemies. And naval modules. Yeah, we got to start focusing a little bit more on this. Grab some long-range optics. Better guns. Better weapons. Better Brotherhood. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The Zax technology, yep, there goes that achievement. Who's can Zax can? Advanced Central Medic Central and Ragal Radar. The Ammonites. At first I thought I read the Amish. But okay. Oh wait, they're attacking Oh, that is not ideal. Oh, we can go to war with them too. Well, if they want to do that, we gotta do this too immediately then. Wow, they're smashing through this army really quickly. Should have saw that one coming. Alright, so what are the losses like so far? Three. Th Nike's bad words. Uh, 2,000. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, wait. Almost 3,000 for them. Go, 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 go. Smash, smash, smash. I'm going to have you guys help them out as well. With all the. Uh, with the air superiority, we should do pretty well over here. We, not, we might not win everywhere, but that's okay. And I'm just going to pop at them. Like, I don't really care. To be honest with you, I might just pop it up most of these nations, actually. I'll give the 80s some good territory, but we'll see what happens. Down here. I might give this City 318 also to the Desert Rangers when we take them out, but we'll see what happens. I thought we might go to war with the... Wow, we're just overrunning divisions now. We're really just murdering them. Jesus Christ, I love this. But, as I was trying to say before I inter interrupted myself, I wanted to go to war with... That one nation. Shady Sands Republic. Or military state, I guess, at this point. Look at that. Even this. They can't pierce this, so that's good. They've lost. Jesus. Oh my goodness. 22,000? Jesus. We've only lost less than 1,000 so far. This is nice. This is kind of overpowered. Resource conservation? Not even to forget the components like alloys or advanced technology, which are crucial, which are crucial to much of our daily routines and ways of organizing. Very good. Uh, guys, I, you're probably already done with your objectives. Let's be real. Could you do that? That'd be great. You guys are up here. Oh, actually, since they're so weak, we could... Yeah, there you go. There go. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, yeah. Let's cook them. Get some cooling jackets immediately, too. Now, does this affect this at all? 40 combat width. Let's go with... Inf oh, they're not infantry. They are uh, special forces. PA, 21.7. 22.6. Honestly, I'm kind of tired of waiting. If you do this, you get a little bit less HP. More supply use, of course, but this one gives you a little bit less of the more supply use. Uh, it's actually slightly more reliable, too. You get... Actually, you get more soft attack, you get more hard attack, you get a little bit less breakthrough. You get more breakthrough with the PA demo teams, but breakthrough is already pretty good. But you get quite a bit more soft attack, or more defense, I mean. This actually slows your speed. Yeah, let's go with these guys. Uh, at this point, I'm tired of waiting. I just want some thick boys. We love them thick. If they're not thick, do we really want them? Of course not. Of course not. Oh, and we're out of... Well, that arm XP too. We could do power armor support for even slightly more or less piercing, actually, and get more defense and breakthrough, but... Eh, you know what? I never use them. I might use them. We'll see what happens. You know what? In the middle of all this, just go ahead and convert. It's probably a really bad idea. We gotta get some logistic companies on those guys. That's okay. Push. Go, 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 go. Oh, actually, I don't think we have their, uh... No, we haven't done it yet. That's fine. Machine assisted decryption. Cool, cool, cool. Close the patrols. Grab some raiding flotillas. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, please kill them. Please kill the enemies off so fast. Um, they have 92 divisions, so they still have a lot. They have 52,000, 53,000 losses. And that 89 divisions so far? I mean, it's not going to be easy. Oh, crap. They got people up here, too. But uh, our allies should be able to deal with them. Should be able to. Uh, military factors, maybe a few more here and there. I'm really not too worried, as long as we don't lose too many divisions. Uh, I'm a little more worried about down this this down here. So we'll take these guys out next for them. Which, like I said earlier, was the main objective of this episode. Well, I guess taking out other people was, but whatever. Yeah. Cartel. Cool. Hey, we actually did some uh, bombing. Nice. Very nice. What happened to my voice there? Just kind of cracked or something. Please go, 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 go. Nice. They're doing a good job. They're doing a pretty good job. Research. Ah, good. More light and heavy attack for capital ships, as well as more organization, which is nice. Cool. Research cons conservation. Not conversation, but conservation. Every old industrial urban wreckage has been explored, exploited by the Brotherhood scribes for decades in the hopes of finding new and rare technology. However, in recent years, it has become overwhelmingly apparent that what the Brotherhood may need is simple, simple resources. Good. Uh, I'm going to wait for the next one because I want to get some logistic companies for our 40 combat with power armor divisions. Because they are some thick boys. Cool. Do the next one too. That'd be good. All right, Ammonites. Very cool. Take them all, and then I'll release them. Actually, maybe I should have just puppet, puppet them there. Oh, it's going to cause more problems then. Uh, where are they? Yeah, it's probably going to cause more problems then. Uh, do I have the... Let's see. There we go. You're going to have Jericho. Tama creatures, no. Yakuza... Crazy Horns. Ammonites, cool. There we go. That's a lot of... That is a massive area. Um, I don't like the way this looks, so I'm just going to give this back to them. This is really disgusting. These are all Tower Walker territories, too. There we go. That looks so much better. Holy cow. Alright, so who's over here? Ammonites, not bad. Really not bad. But gives us another potential ally, the Conglomerate of Hopeville. Well, I guess it's time to talk about this area here, too. Dead horses might be really worth liberating. Uh, we could do that, maybe. Lone trees. Hmm, I wish we could make one giant Utah. Actually, I don't think I can release New Canaan now, can I? And give them all that territory? Yeah, I don't think I can. That kind of sucks. Hmm, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll see what happens. Yeah, I think it's just best to wait to see what happens. Combat barges, goodbye. Awesome. Let's finish this war up. 
You're gonna push the heck out of them right there. Get through their entire, cut through their entire front line. You can go back over here. Cool. And if that's the case, cutting to their fox would be nice. I'm gonna. Oof, what am I gonna do? You guys. You're gonna do your best. I'm gonna sacrifice some territory in order for us to kill off these enemies quickly. We'll take these guys out as fast as possible. You guys will hold the line right here, which is probably a good thing. We're gonna need more divisions for this too, so that, that. You guys are getting down there, that'd be fine. Uh, cooling jackets, cool. Shining example. The art of nation building is usually a thankless one, but today is not the case. The people of the 80s seem to have taken control of the, or the role of subject wonderfully. And our a, a, officials are welcomed, our demands met, and hearts and minds are being won to our cause. We can grab that political power, because we can always lower their autonomy later. Uh, go ahead and grab some auto-injectors, that'd be nice. Yeah, we're making a few blunts. Look how long it takes. Fifteen, you can you make a little bit more than two a month. That's so not worth it. So not worth it. Ah, they're actually pushing here, I see. Oh, good luck with that. Ah, see, there we go. I'm glad I clicked on that r real quick, like. So, we did basically what they did to us earlier. And we sunk nine battle cruisers and 31 screens in exchange for 13 of our own screens. Perfect. Uh, refit ships? No, 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 no. Repair now. Uh, did you have any upgrades, sir? You just won a great battle. You got a level four, but no. But this Silicon Valley expedition, our ventures into the valley always come fruitful. But we haven't scoured this place in some 30 years. Picked off by raiders and wastelands and the occasional prospector, but our efforts have come up fruitless yet again. It took some time, not leaving any stone or a piece of rubble unturned in our efforts. We have discovered a trove of advanced tech and assorted rare materials. Research speed, a database of robot schematics, or a database of robot schematics, which gains support robots, gets more attack and substack. Uh, honestly, we're good on everything at this point. I don't really care about using robots. I really don't. But research speed doesn't mean too much to me anymore, so... This is cool and all, but we already have enough. I'm going to go with robots. I might actually... Maybe we'll make some robots. Let's exploit the old. With a futile attempt at conserving resources, we must prioritize funding and occupying new caches of resources. Things that scribes may otherwise look over in the past now have the possibility of becoming a lifesaver to the chapter. But I think we're going to end up there. We've done really, really well. Um, let me know in the comments below. Should I release these independent nations here? I'm not opposed to it. Just because we get to see the Protectorate Semper Victa. They're under the Hall of Initiates everywhere here, which is, I think, really, really cool. They get their own manpower. They can do whatever they want. And let me know. Should I release these nations? Because it looks kind of weird if we leave it alone. We've already liberated the 80s a little bit. Even though it still does look really weird. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will begin to wrap up the campaign. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great, great rest of your day.